Hey guys, so I wasn't going to make this video, but I'm down here in the woods trying to decide how to safely remove that snag that's uh, kind of two crappy trees, about 30 feet up it broke off, and uh, I'm not going to die to get the thing down, but it's kind of annoying because it's on my trail. So, um, anyways, I, uh, I had, hey guys, so little topics come up that uh, I wasn't going to post the video and talking about safety and guys getting hurt and a friend of mine just got hurt uh, a couple weeks ago and we were just talking about just different injuries um i know real loggers i'm not one but uh there's real guys out there that get hurt all the time and then us hobbyists uh well we can get hurt too um so i was in the wood yard cutting a pile of logs and i was heavily distracted and uh, my son came up behind me right as I was making a cut and I wasn't really paying attention and a log rolled out of the pile and it got me pretty good. Um, once you watch the tape here in a second, um, I could have been killed. I'm really shocked. I, I really wasn't hurt. Um, it hit me like a truck, but um, I mean, it, it slapped me, threw me about 10 feet and but it, it didn't break my jaw it didn't break my skull it didn't break my ribs uh shoulder hurt like hell side of my head hurt but i mean i've been uh i've been hit hard a few times and it 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 knocked me pretty good but you know i got right back up and i kind of kept going and then later that night it started uh you know started closing in with needing some ibuprofen and whatnot but um Watching the tape, you know, and I, I I knew it was a hard hit at the time, but until I watched the tape later, I really went, wow, um, a little bit different angle, you know, it, it, it could have actually killed me, and, you know, we're talking, I'm, I'm screwing around with firewood in my backyard, this is not a, this is not a career deal, I do normally wear all my safety gear, I wear chaps, I wear a hard hat, I wear earmuffs, uh, I've got the face guard, and, I don't know what's happened in the last couple of years. Seems like every time I pick up a saw, I get crap in my eyes. Um, I can't hear very good anymore, so that kind of brought in the hearing protection. And I've had a chainsaw throw a chain and hit my leg before. Once was in blue jeans, and it just barely nicked my leg. Once was wearing saw chaps. That also nicked my leg. Um, that was an 064. Um, that one was, that hit my leg pretty hard, so both cases I was okay but since then I don't normally pick up a chainsaw for any reason without just putting chaps on if nothing else it keeps your pants clean you get a lot less oil and stuff but uh, anyways beyond that when it happened I was in the middle of doing the uh, review on that little DeWalt 60 volt battery saw um, all my buddies when they see it they're like man what is what is that you know and it's actually a pretty handy little tool um, I'm not out cutting cordwood with it, but when you just need to make a cut here and a cut there um, If you're working on the sawmill and you just need you know a couple cuts a day on a you know 14 inch log It's perfect um, If you're gonna go up wheeling, it's also nice. So anyways, I thought I'll make a video man People know these things actually work and you can do that with your information as you would so when the injury happened in the video I just edited it out. It's not what the video was about. It's not what the channel's about. Um, I didn't actually delete it. Um, I just just went back and saw that I still have the footage on my hard drive. So, um, anyways, I was talking to my buddy. He came up. He asked me if he could come get some firewood. He got hurt at work. He's uh, just it's cold out. He needs some firewood. So I told him come on up, and he wanted to cut in my pile. And I told him I'm not going to let anybody cut in my pile. It's just dangerous. You know, I'd set a couple logs down, but I wasn't home at the time. And um, anyways, he was kind of put off by it. Um, thought that I was calling him an idiot, basically, by not letting him just come. Well, my wood, my log pile is, you know, it's all heaped up there, unloaded with the excavator. It's not exactly safe. And since myself, knowing full well, wasn't paying attention enough, I don't want somebody else cutting in it. So... Anyways, um, got to talking to him, then I showed him the footage, and he's like, man, you got to put that on YouTube, and it's like, eh, it's, it's not what my channel's about, and then, uh, but kind of talking about it a little bit, you know, he's like, well, that's what you started your channel for, you wanted to teach people about stuff, so safety, I'm not safety Sally, but um, 
I'm kind of from the old school. I despise most of the current, you know, corporate safety stuff is, is just ridiculous in my eyes. But um, watching the footage and I thought, you know, you can preach this stuff, but when you show a video like what you're about to see, it's it's uh, it's kind of one of them holy crap moments. Um, so, you know, the mission of my channel, I want to teach people about stuff. I find some of the stuff I do um, just in my career and my business is pretty interesting to people. And for years, people have been saying you should have a YouTube channel. And this ties right into that. If I can save somebody from being careless and getting hurt or killed, um, and just to kind of op open your eyes up. I mean, sometimes we need to, uh, uh, we just need to see something to, to think about things. And this, you know, this happened to me and I'd almost kind of, you know, I shrugged it off. I was a little slow for a couple days. I did go to work the next day, but I was hurting for a good week. And going back and seeing this footage is like, wow, I'm not cutting in the pile like that unless I downstack it or I'm really watching. Um, also, I don't want my boys anywhere near me when I'm cutting. Um, they're usually out and around me. Usually I make them wear earmuffs and they're throwing wood and stacking stuff and throwing bark in the fire and whatnot. But um, if you're cutting in a pile, you know, those logs can come down and I see it in a lot of other YouTube videos. Um, I saw it on, uh, in the wood yard the other day. Um, talk about somebody that's experienced in his field but you know he had a big round up on top and he rolls them down and you know Chris absolutely knows what he's doing nothing nothing against him but it just my experience and then watching him I was like holy cow you know look at that big round he's got up on top and he's working his way into it but um you know he got it down cut it up just fine but um just having seen that it just makes me think so i'm hoping that this is going to make you guys think uh i wasn't going to wasn't going to put this up and i just uh i think i should show it because it might it might save somebody uh might save somebody getting hurt so here we go move you guys a little bit closer here I'm not pushing this saw at all. Um, I'm just uh, kind of letting the saw do the work. guys there it is um i hope that makes somebody think um i'm not the safety police but i think if this video can make a couple guys think and it's not just about cutting in a pile it's everything you know when i go out my backyard to cut i don't put a lot of thought into it i throw my chaps on and throw my hard hat on and i go to work but uh you got to look around a little bit and you got to think about things and if something's you know if if you're kind of looking at something and it's like yeah that's it's probably not the best setup do something about it you know if you got a jeep and a chain or an excavator or a tractor i mean i've got all these tools i could have laid all those logs out and that never would have happened but what happened for me is i'm new to youtube i don't i don't uh go out of my way to dream up oh we're gonna do a video about firewood i'm just i'm doing firewood and i think a couple people find it interesting in the world so um i throw the cameras out and then i spend my evenings editing and, you know, I've got people all over the world are watching this stuff, which is crazy. But, you know, there's, there's guys in countries, they don't have these great big trees. This is amazing to them. Um, you know, they got all these little trees or no trees or there's no logging. I don't know that, you know, they're fighting over firewood pallets and stuff. Um, you know, I started this channel just to kind of show stuff. So I'm not out here dreaming up a video. I'm just dragging cameras with me as I go through my day. And you'll see a lot of random stuff here, but uh, 
you know so for me it's a little distracting and that's what my big takeaway was there you know for crying out loud i'm out here running this little tiny toy chainsaw and i wasn't paying attention and then my my boy was yelling at me about something and i should have just stopped and dealt with that i shouldn't have been annoyed and just kept going um you know i should have just i should have just put the saw down gone dealt with it and i had looked at that tree um earlier on in the video and i think i i even made a comment which i also edited out i was like oh this is going to roll at some point so i'm only going to cut down to here well where i cut to i was four rounds past that and you know that log is i don't remember i think that was like a 40 foot or 30 foot log so a pretty good size you know just the tail end of it whipped me but it had a lot of rotation going so um anyways i'm just rambling so uh wrap this one up guys uh thanks for watching hope you got something from that and we'll see you on the next one have a great night